creating a client portfolio. To create a portfolio for a client, within the client, head to the current plans and portfolios section. In the top right hand corner of this section, click on create new portfolio. This opens up in a new tab heading at the top and allows us to input as much information as possible about the client's existing plan. You can scroll from top to bottom to complete the information or use your navigation bar on the left hand side. The first section is portfolio details and we start by giving our portfolio a reference. This is a free text box, type in here however you would like it to appear on any of the portfolio reports. It will automatically put the client's name in the reference but you can amend that as you see fit. Enter the reference, then select the product type from the drop down box. Then select the provider of that product, they're all in alphabetical order. It will then ask you to select a benchmark to compare the portfolio alongside. Within a portfolio you can produce several reports plotting the performance of that portfolio and you can also produce a portfolio dashboard. Any performance charts will plot the performance of the portfolio alongside a benchmark that you choose from this drop down. You can set the status of the portfolio to current, previous or proposed. Then you can use the calendar underneath to diary forward when you would like to next review this portfolio. The current value and overall TER will be driven by the funds that we add to the portfolio, so these will come to life later. On the right hand side we have a comments box. Type in here whatever you want, it will not appear on any of the reports or quotes, so if you do need to put any notes or reminders about this client portfolio, put them in this box. And in the bottom right hand corner of this section, allow other users in the company to access this portfolio if necessary. The next section is purpose and risk profile. We do have a separate video available on the system which covers capacity for loss and risk. So if you want to know more about this area, have a look at that short video that we have available. We then head into asset allocations as the next section. This allows you to set up a target asset allocation for this client portfolio. So in an ideal world, what would we like our client's portfolio to look like in terms of asset allocation? You need to then tell us the asset classes you would like to see the client invested in and a percentage invested in each asset class. So using the drop down box, select the asset class. Now I've selected equity, I could leave it here or I could be a bit more specific. So tier one is your high level asset class. If you want to be a bit more specific though, you can drill down to tier two and say, well, within equity, maybe you want overseas equity. You could leave it there or you could drill it down to the next tiering level and say, well, within overseas equity, I would like European equity. Type your percentage in and then add allocation and it will appear in the box below. You can then continue to add all the asset classes until you get to 100%. If you want to amend any of the asset classes, click on the little percentage box and you can change the percentage. Or if you'd like to remove any, click on the little X to the right hand side. It will prompt you if you want to delete, so press yes if you do, press no if you don't. You can also import target asset allocations from previously created portfolios. So let's just say you've already created some model portfolios with some model target asset allocations. Instead of creating that again for this client, 
what you can do is head to actions and you can import the assets from a previously created model portfolio. Once you reach 100% allocation in the asset allocation section, click on the two little arrows in the top right hand corner and that will spin this area around to reveal our target asset allocation pie chart. So in an ideal world, this is what we want our client's portfolio to look like. We then head down to the holding section and this is where you can add the funds that the client is currently invested in. Now there are two methods of adding funds. In the top right hand corner you have the add fund button. That will give you a shortcut into the fund research area. Now we do have a video dedicated to fund research which shows you how to carry out fund research and look for specific funds. So if you want a little bit more information on that, have a look at that video. For this video we're going to use the quick add button. Now if you click on quick add, as we've already selected Aviva as our current plan provider, it's already provided us with a short list of Aviva funds available. So what we can do is scroll through this list, they're all in alphabetical order, to find the funds that our client is currently invested in. Now once you find the funds that your client's invested in, click on the fund and on the right hand side type in the number of units held in that fund. Now, don't worry if you don't know the number of units held in that fund. What to do at this point is type in any number of units, so 1, 3, 4, 10, whatever it is, and I'll show you what to do later. I do know the number of units that my client has in each fund, so I just keep going through, finding all the funds, and typing in the number of units they hold. Once you've entered that, click OK. Now we get daily price feed flowing through for each of our funds. So based on the number of units, based on the latest price, we then have an up-to-date value held within each fund. Now, as I said, if you didn't know the number of units, that's absolutely fine. You would just type in any number. And at this point, you can double click on the fund. And alongside the units box here, You've got this little button with three little dots, that's what we call our converter button. And if you click on it, it'll allow you to input a cash value as opposed to a unit value. We can then reverse the calculation, so based on latest price, based on the cash value, we can then calculate the number of units held in that fund by the client. That will then allow us to update the value on a daily basis as the daily price feed flows through. So we now know the funds and the values of the funds in our client portfolio and if we scroll back up we can now see our current asset allocation of the client's portfolio. We can see that alongside the target asset allocation and if you would like to know the difference between the target and the current asset allocation you can spin this chart around and this will produce a target and current variance chart telling you how overweight and underweight you are in the various asset classes. Now that we've created our client's current plan, we can click on reports and produce a whole host of reports available for this portfolio. Any portfolios that you create for a client will be automatically saved on the system, so you don't have to click on save at any point. If I was to close this portfolio down, the system has now automatically stored that client portfolio in the client area. If you want to create any further current plans for the client, you would continue to click on create new portfolio until you'd stored all of the client's existing portfolios in here. And that's how you create a client portfolio. Thanks for listening.